Wow. You look amazing. No, not overdressed at all. Like I said, it's a fancy restaurant, but it's just the third floor of the restaurant you always visit. Just fancier-ish. Not stuck-up fancy. You look perfect, okay? Like a work of art. You're even making me draw a blank. <laughs> yes, the silly jokes are continuing tonight. Would you have it any other way? At least I don't still use the cheesy pickup lines. Like, aren't you glad I didn't call you a fine apple? <laughs> hey, I said I don't tell cheesy jokes. That one had a little more zest. <laughs> okay, let me get your door. Here, let me get your door. Why? Well, you know, it's like the saying, save the best for last. That totally applies to you. After you. What was that? No, of course I'm not nervous. I'm with you, aren't I? And you give me caterpillars. Yeah, caterpillars, you know. They turn into butterflies, I just don't know you that well yet. Yet. Okay, maybe I'm a little nervous, about as much as your average date, but it's just been years since I've taken somebody on a dinner date. That always seems so formal, you know? And I don't think I've taken anybody on a date to a fancy restaurant before. Why you? Well, oh, yes, you are special. I mean, you ordered the special. Oh, I've, I've lost puns. <laughs> no, I have not lost my gift, okay? <laughs> It's, it's probably you. Maybe you do make me nervous. You're like asthma. You just take my breath away. Ah, see, it's still here. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I usually like doing something simple like, I don't know, making a smoothie or taking a walk in the park or having a picnic. That'd be fun. Wouldn't it? And that park that we passed by too with the creek and, and it was so peaceful and calm. Usually it's bustling during the day, but at night, oh, it's just perfect. Matter of fact. Hey, Michael. Best host in the house. How you doing? Reservation for two, third floor? And about our food. What was what? Oh, no, uh, I was just telling him something uh, important. He's just making sure we have a nice dinner. Ah, and here's our table. Now, this is technically a different restaurant, so I don't know if they have a special up here. Or several, but order what you want. It's my treat tonight. So, how's your day going so far? What do you do in your free time? Got any fun or weird hobbies? <laughs> nice! You're gonna have to show me one of these days. I actually enjoy cross-country, as far as my weird hobbies go. I mean, who likes running? But I just like the excitement it gives. No, I'm actually not a huge fan of hiking, for some reason. I know, right? You'd think that I'd love hiking, but it's just too slow for me. And there's always some dang hill over the next corner, you know? And still, I just like the feeling of running. But I'll be honest, the only marathon I'll ever run is probably from Netflix. <laughs> Uh, apart from that, I like to draw comics. <laughs> no, nothing I plan on publishing, just for fun, like doodling. My brother showed me how to draw when I was young. I was never quite good as he was, but it really made me appreciate beauty in life, you know? What about you? Got any siblings? Oh, really now? And how's the family? Do you live at home? Me? Not right now, I don't. I'm... I'm renting out an apartment until I can get my own town home at the moment. Which is convenient, it's close by where I work. Even if it's a bit of a drive from school. Oh, I'm studying business management. I want to own my own restaurant one of these days. Yeah, see it's... Well, my dad actually got me hooked into that. See, I worked a couple of jobs in high school, at hardware stores and, and fast food restaurants, you know. But there was always something that drew me towards this. Well, that's basically my life, from cheeseburgers to cheesy jokes. 
yeah, I just learned to love joking with people whenever I thought was necessary. Which is all the time. I don't think there should ever be a day where you don't laugh at something. Here's your food, sir. Oh, and our food's here. Why, yes, they are in bags. Okay, I'll tell you why. Come get your bag. Let's go on an adventure. Yes, this is what I whispered to Michael. Bag the food to go. No, oh, don't worry about the reservation. Didn't cost us a thing. Besides, park's a lot more of an adventure, wouldn't you say? He won't get a sky full of stars in a restaurant. Let's eat up on the hill. Yeah, it's just like you. A great view, and it's perfect. <laughs> there is actually something I wanted to ask you earlier. So you remember that night where I first waited on you? When you-know-who didn't show up? No, not Voldemort. I meant, yeah, you know, the mister who missed the opportunities, as I'll call him. That kind of thing would have brought anybody down, but you kept coming back. And I'll be honest, I don't think I would have wanted to go back to a place that would have reminded me of that. So if you don't mind me asking, why did you keep coming back? Is there a special memory that maybe happened there? Or was that just a favorite spot? Or what? Because of me. Okay, very funny. But why would you... Oh. Really? You... You came back because of me? I really don't know what to say. I thought it was just me who liked seeing you. You know, there's a reason why I like this spot, particularly. This is actually where my brother and I used to hang out. When we were very young, we used to play in the creek, climb the trees, sometimes look up at the stars at night. We had no idea that we'd be separated halfway across the country. But still, this spot always reminds me of him and of special people in life. And there was one trick he showed me some time ago. Here, lie down next to me. Whenever the clouds would part, He'd try to see if there was a drawing that he could make using the stars. Not just the stars, though. He'd try to use the moon, and the clouds, and even the shade from trees. <laughs> like that right there. <laughs> Looks like a turtle. Yeah, see the clouds form the shell? They got three little stars poking out for the legs. And that leaf from the tree, that's a bit of a stretch, but looks like the head. What about you? Yeah, that one does look like a flower. Can, I can kind of see it. Hey, can I ask you another question? Are you comfortable? I may only be a runner, but I think my chest might be a better pillow. <laughs> there. Comfortable. Good. This is just what I was hoping. Just to be right here with you. Right under the stars. And if I'm going to be deathly honest, there isn't a single star up there that's as radiant as you. <laughs> you can't turn red just yet. I was just on the forehead. No, I, I didn't miss. Oh. <laughs> if I could just slow down this moment. Be right here with you. For all eternity. That'd be enough. Mind if we stay here just a little longer? <laughs> 